today we will learn how to create this banana text effect using the clipping feature of the Shape Builder tool in Inkscape 1.4. To start, if you would like to follow along with me, I've provided a link to this banana image in the description box below. Or you can try using a different image. Okay, so now let's grab the text tool and create some text. For the font, I'm using Montserrat Heavy, which has nice thick letters. All right, now we can grab the selector tool, resize the text while holding control to maintain the aspect ratio and position it about where we want it on the banana. Next, we want to reshape the text to follow along the curvature of the banana. For this, we'll use the bend path effect. So let's go to path, path effects. And in the path effects dialog, we first need to convert the text object into a path by clicking this button. Then we can show all the path effects and choose bend. And here, if we click the edit on canvas button, we get a green line across the text. And using the node tool, we can click and drag the line to bend the text. We can also use the nodes at the ends of the line to adjust the positioning and use the handles to adjust the curvature. And we can use the node at the bottom left to adjust the height of the letters. We want the tops and bottoms of the letters to be pretty close to the edges of the banana or even overlapping the edges a bit. Okay, once we have the text looking good, we can finalize the bend path effect by clicking the arrow next to it in the list and choosing flatten. Next, we'll turn the letters into clipping paths for the banana image. To do this, let's first select both the image and the text, then activate the Shape Builder tool. The first thing we want to do is hold down Shift to switch to Delete Mode and click somewhere on the image to remove it from the selection. Now we can release the Shift key to go back to Add Mode, then click and drag to the parts of the letters that we want to keep. So for the B, that's everything except for the two half circle parts. If we hover over the first A, it's showing the entire shape as light blue, including the triangular piece in the middle, which we don't want. To fix this, we can first hold Shift and click somewhere inside the A to remove the shape completely. Then we can release the Shift key and click and drag over the parts that we do want. Now let's work on the N. This A is also showing all blue, so let's hold down Shift and click it, then release the key and drag through the parts we want. Then let's do the other end. And finally, for this A here, the triangular part isn't blue, so we can simply click and drag through the parts we want. All right, now before we apply this, we want to come up to the controls bar and toggle off the replace objects option. Otherwise it will delete the original banana image, which we don't want to do yet. Okay, now we can apply it by clicking the accept button. Then we can deselect everything and delete the original text. We can't see the letters right now because they're blending in with the banana image, but if we select the image and lower its opacity, now we can see them. All right, so the final step is to cut out the center of the image, leaving only the parts to the left and right of the text. For this, we can grab the pen tool and create a path that goes through the vertical part of the B and covers the entire left end of the banana. Then do the same for the final A and the right end of the banana. Now we need to select the banana and raise its opacity back up. And we might need to zoom in a bit to make sure we select the banana, not one of the letters. Then with the banana still selected, let's hold shift and also select both of the paths that we just created, then activate the Shape Builder tool. All we want is the part of the banana under this path and the part under this path. And this time we can toggle the Replace Objects button back on before applying it. And there we go.
We can group all the pieces together if we want. And that should do it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.